This is a red burdock, or spotted burdock. It's uh, really huge leaves, usually about a foot and a half, two feet large, um, foot by foot, per se. Uh, as an example, this is um, a food product and um, another noxious weed. It's something that you definitely would want to know how to prepare properly, in my opinion. It's um, also needs to be um, picked and eaten in proper season or time because uh, the leaves get older and they have worse and worse taste. But basically it's like a bitter and so it's a good addition to your salad and it's got extreme amount of green nutrients, etc. Um, it grows in uh, bad soils and ditches and um, places like that and it's uh, an invasive um, weed in your yard. Um, the main problem with it is just the fact that it's a very extremely burly plant and um, grows to be um, about a foot or so at least root. It's like a, a really extreme root and um, it, they're not easy to, to get up at all and, um, and the only way, the proper way to dig to get these up without having to make an extreme amount of problem is um, if you've seen any of my uh, weed um, picking videos um, harvesting um, anyway when it's extremely wet out in a really wet season um, they're uh, feeding and so they open their roots up to allow moisture and stuff to open up and they release their hold on the rocks and um, so when it's really soaking wet outside soak your roots soak your plants really well before you're gonna pull them up and get a really good hold at the base and um, try and you know jiggle it around quite a bit and that loosens the roots and get as much as possible of that root and get a really good hold and don't just pull up do not rip it out you want to you want to jiggle it around and by moving it around and by getting as much of the original of the root base as possible these two are connected so by getting them at the same time and or all three even though these are three separate plants this is a burdock root um, red spotted I've uh, harvested this earlier and um, the video died out but um, basically the point to the first video and or this video is to identification for one but also um, how to uproot a plant um, was the point and you can see that this is the whole root here and um, the way that, and you can see that this is like cement and um, you know they basically are absorbing toxins, extreme amount of toxins and um, nuclear waste, industrial runoff and all sorts of uh, extreme poisons and toxins in the ground. It's a really good plant to clean your soil and they grow in um, industrial waste yards and places. I mean not naturally obviously wouldn't create it for that. It's the point that biology is able to clean the soil from all of that and um, this was uh, dug up a couple days ago um, so it's already gone limp but um, as a food product and these have already gone limp mind you and this is not a fresh plant anymore but when it was this is a much more um, stable leaf and now it's a lot softer and you want to study how to eat these properly but uh, basically it's a table green salad green and it's a bitter so it um, has medicinal value and um, you'd want to mix it with other salads it's pretty strong um, sour dock is another term and um, I personally as a raw food it doesn't taste uh, edible or palatable palatable to me but um, like I said proper preparation um, and then uh, with most foods um, a lot of people are allergic to a lot of things um, on a quick note um, you know the best part of an orange or a lemon is um, not the fruit but the rind itself has um, probably 80 percent of the vitamins in concentration and if you were to um, I personally I just eat this the pith okay that right there is um, good eating and um, 
I just scraped that off with my uh, teeth, basically, the inside of a, a rim of um, any citrus fruit is uh, is great. Now, unfortunately, if it came from the store, it's probably got a lot of poisons and toxins in it because, once again, that's where they all concentrate, so um, to each his own. But assuming that you have a grown-by-God plant, 80% um, or more of your essential oils and medicine is in the rind, and the fruit is just a byproduct that you could just, uh, I mean, you know, it tastes much better. <laughs> Obviously, orange juice is great, but not a necessity, as opposed to the rind itself is a uh, medicinal value. And before the pharmaceutical companies um, pretty much made it illegal, um, your grandparents could verify this, no doubt. Um, this is a uh, good food and candy, and what they do is they'll dry out the, the rims to all citrus fruits and sugar it so it tastes better. But um, this would be um, your instant um, nasal medicinal um, you would uh, eat about this much would be plenty um, for the common cold or uh, stuffed up throats or um, noses and um, respiratory systems um, I can't you know tell you everything that it does medicinally but that's where that's where it goes that's where that medicine and that value goes and it's an instant um, noticeable cure and um, prepared properly um, I would not say that you or most people could even enjoy eating the white pith. Um, I'm a naturalist, so for me, that's just food and it tastes great. But if you were raised on, you know, something else, then that may not taste so great for you. Um, nevertheless, um, realize that 90% or more of orange juice that comes from Minute Maid, anyway, specifically in Florida orange juice, is uh, all grown in human feces fertilizer and so um, when you think about the sort of fertilizers that the agro agro companies use in Florida orange juice for instance and um, then think about what you're eating um, I'd say that whatever you're eating and growing is going to be um, endless amount of protein compared to anything you could get from the store on another note, we all are aware of vitamin C. You realize that the vitamin C is not from the orange, even though it physically is. That's not where our government uh, mandates it from. In a government sense, they mandate and control FDA, approves and regulates all foods. So the um, vitamin C is actually extracted from ascorbic acid, which sounds like nothing, and people just ignore that on all all food products for your children for instance and in, in juices you'll see where it promotes these things it's like good for your kids it's good for you healthy it's got you know vitamin C 100% or whatever you can only absorb 100% of vitamin C otherwise 100 the other percent just drains out your body naturally so um, either way what they do is they extract the vitamin C from a, a product called ascorbic acid ascorbic acid vice versa is in this and vitamin C is in ascorbic acid, but ascorbic acid is a byproduct of a lot of different um, plants and, and biology. So what happens is they actually um, get the ascorbic acid from black mold. And um, let me see if we can find some around here. So as an example, um, this not too good of an example but we have a uh, black mold okay basically this is Asparilagus um, Niger and um, or you know there's there's lots of different molds and black and bacteria and stuff but anyway our government the federal regulated department of agriculture and all them food and drug administration DEA they all um, regulate 90 percent of Americans vitamin C that's in your food and on the back of your juice bottles right now is coming from this plank of wood basically um, black mold this right here that's what where they're getting your vitamin C from because God doesn't exist in a scientific world and they can't just it is illegal for you to say that this right here has vitamin C in it and will cure you and you cannot make a medicinal product with vitamin C that will that you need to live or vitamin D from the shiitake mushroom which you will prove in, has cured cancer and you will live that is illegal you have to have a government controlled regulated product from the FDA 
which, like I said, is Aspergillus niger, black mold. And that is, look it up, that is where your um, world supply of vitamin C comes from. Because, like all things, they create this in a laboratory. And it's extremely easy to grow molds in a laboratory and create chemicals. Okay, and this is how they do that. They make chemicals from, from um, molds and mushrooms grow. They feed mushrooms and different chemicals, really bad stuff, to mushrooms and different molds. And the molds and the mushrooms um, eat it. Okay, they eat radiation, they eat chemicals, they eat extreme toxins, and they turn it into a healthy byproduct, ascorbic acid. The ascorbic acid they extract the vitamin C from and they put it in your food. So the next time you're looking at that bottle or whatever and it says 100% vitamin C and then it says ascorbic acid in any of your food, remember, that's what your government's giving you. And this is what God's giving you. Now I grow this. I just got this off of my tree today. This is my orange and my Myers lemons and sugar lemons and stuff that I grow in the middle of March no problem I just ate this today but just so you know that's where your black mold comes from and um, your vitamin C and um, you know it's pretty sad it's pretty sad um, alright I guess that's enough of that sorry I'm on a tangent